Welcome back to Three Inquisitive Kids. Today, we're going to come back to triangles, but look specifically at similar triangles. In triangle ABC, with BC equal to 5, CA equal to 13, and AB equal to 12, points E and F are chosen on sides AC and AB respectively, such that EF is parallel to BC. Given that triangle AEF and trapezoid EFBC have the same perimeter, find the length of EF. Let's start by drawing the picture that we get from this problem. We know this is a 5 to 12 to 13 right triangle, so it should look something like this. Now we have a right triangle. We also know we have to take E and F, so let's just put it here. E and F, and these two sides are parallel. This will also then become a right angle. And they have the same perimeter, so what is EF? Let's first set EF as X. So we're trying to find X. Now here's where we use similar triangles. In similar triangles, we know that triangle ABC and triangle AEF are similar because they have all the same angles. So there must be a ratio that is going on between these two triangles. The same ratio scales BA to EA, scales BC to EF, and scales CA to FA. Now let's re-represent some of these things. If we know that we're, if we're trying to find EF, let's let A equal the ratio of the scaling. So we could represent EF as 5A. 5 multiplied the scale of that ratio. And remember, the ratio could be a decimal, a negative number, or a fraction. In this case, it's a fraction or a decimal. Now, for EA, for EA, because it is on the side that used to be 12, we have to multiply 12 by the same ratio, 12A, and this becomes 13A. And this part would become 12 minus 12A and 13 minus 13A. Where's the equivalent relationship that we can get from this problem? Well, because we know that they have the same perimeters, we could write... 5a plus 5 plus 12 minus 12a plus 13 minus 13a is equal to 5a plus 12a plus 13a. Now we can subtract this on both sides, and after some extra calculations, we have 30 is equal to 50a. So now we can find the ratio of the scaling. The ratio becomes 3 over 5. And when solving for similar triangles, it is very important to find the ratio of how, it, how much it is scaled by. So find the ratio of scale. So now that we know what A is, we can definitely find out EF. EF is 5A, so all we do is 5 times 3 over 5, which is 3. So the final answer to the first problem would be 3. Now let's take a look at a slightly more advanced second problem. In triangle ABC, angle BAC is 90 degrees, and the length of segment AB is 2011. Let M be the midpoint of BC and D the midpoint of AM. Let E be the point on segment AB such that EM is parallel to CD. What is the length of segment BE? Let's go back and reread the problem. BAC is 90 degrees and the length of segment AB is 2011. M is the midpoint of BC. So if BC was here, then this would be X and this would be D is the midpoint of AM. Now, as you can see, we know some ratios now. 
E is the point on segments AB, such that EM is parallel to CD. So EM and CD are parallel. What is the length of segment BE? We're trying to find this length over here. Diving into the problem, let's try to find pairs of similar triangles. And as you observe, you'll quickly find one pair. And that is triangle ADF and triangle AME. As you can see, EM is parallel to CD. Therefore, they have the same two base angles. They also share this one angle and this top angle as well. So because of this, we know that triangle ADF is similar to triangle AME. And because AD and DM are the same, let's first call it A. And because AD and DM are the same, it means that DF, let's call it A, will be exactly one half of ME, which is 2A. AF and FE would also be both B and B. So this is what we know from, the, from observing this pair of similar triangles. As you can see, we do know lots of ratios and relationships, but we don't actually know the actual value of this yet. Now let's see if we can find any other equivalent triangles. So let's first erase this and think about it. Now if we switch our perspective, we will see that there is another pair of similar triangles triangle BME and a triangle BCF. As you can see, because EM and CF are parallel, we know that these two angles are the same. They share these two angles as well, and they also have this angle in common. So triangles BCF is similar to triangle BME. As you can see here, BM and CM are the same, which means that triangle BCF is exactly two times that of the smaller triangle BME, and the scale factor is times two. Everything is times two. So because this side length we know is already 2A, then that means CF would be 4A. But we already know one section of 4A, which is A. So this remaining part must be 3A. Also, because all side lengths are increasing by a scale factor of 1, because with a scale, fa scale factor of 1, it means that FE and EB must equal each other. So EB must equal B as well. Remember, we're trying to find the length of segment BE. And we can see that it is exactly one-third of 2011. So the final se segment of the length BE is 2011 over 3. So this is the final length um, and the final answer to the problem.